Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan Moline here, and tonight I saw the new horror movie Ouija Board. Yeah, now I've seen some movies. Ouija Boards, let's give you, let me give you an example what Ouija Boards are. Ouija Board is a, a game where you can contact, contact the, the dead. First off, you put this board in front of you, you never play alone, never play in the graveyard, and you never, and you always have to say goodbye. There's letters on it, and you have a hourglass or something like that that moves around, and it'll spirits will contact you, but you always gotta say goodbye or bad things will happen. That's what a Ouija board is. Now, as for the movie, the Ouija board movie begins in, with these two girls playing a Ouija board game and contacting the spirit world. Now, at the end of that, um. The girls are grown up, and um, <clears throat> P.S. So if you haven't seen the movie Ouija Board, uh, I would recommend seeing that first before you watch my review or anyone else's review on this movie, please, because there really might be a couple spoilers in here, so sorry for that. So anyways, what I was saying, oh yeah, the girl who plays it, Ouija Board, starts hearing things, and then her friend comes over and wonders what's wrong, and she's like, hey, you want to hang out? She's like, no, no, it'll be fine. But later on, she goes up and finds out the Ouija board she tried burning is still there. And then she looks into the hourglass and these evil spirits take over and make her, well, kill herself, hang herself. And then from there, these friends decide to contact her from the dead. And a whole bunch of other start crap just starts happening from the shithole from there. Yeah. So... It was an interesting movie. I saw it in movie theater. Was it as good as the movie Annabelle? Mm, no. Annabelle was way... The horror movie Annabelle was a lot better and scarier than Ouija Board. But Ouija Board had its moments and it needed a lot more work. I've seen movies like this before. The evil spirits, possession... And all that crap. I would never touch a Ouija board in real life. Those things are creepy, man. Creepy. Um, the movie could have been better. Like, there could have been... The story was good and all, but... It ended on a twist, but the good part is you think it had... You think it was over at the end when they... You think it was over, but then they put a shock factor when it wasn't. I like movies like that. It didn't make me jump, really, anything. Yeah, it was all not a bad movie. It was not, Ouija Board was not a bad movie at all. But it uh, wasn't as good as Annabelle. Because Annabelle was more scary and it had more creepy factors to it. Um, so, what I have to say about Ouija Board, it gets uh, 8 out of 10 from me. That's a fair rare... <clears throat> that's a fair... I can't talk right now. That's a fair rating. And I think it could have been better. And by the ending, it looked like there might be a sequel. Yeah, great. More sequels. Anyways, well, that was it for my movie review of the movie Ouija Board. Uh, like I said, if you haven't seen the film, go see it first. For watching this review or anyone else's review and yeah so that's about it i am jonathan moline and like and sub if you want to or not and stay frosty my friends and i'll talk to you more when i see the next review peace